Hey, Coach, um, what's that Bible there? Well, this is a Bible. This book is a Bible. And the word Bible means a collection of records. Mm. So there are many different types of collection of ancient records, right? But this book happens to be the one to the Israelites, okay? okay? Uh, there's a Bible called the Quran. There's a Bible called the Bagat Vita. There's a Bible called the Egyptian Book of the Dead. There's a Bible called the um, Kaber Negras, which is by the Ethiopians. So the word Bible means a collection of records. Um, so many ancient cultures or ancient nations have, is that videotaping good? Yeah. Have what is called Bibles. But this now is the record, what the word holy means is true, and the word Bible means collection of records. So this contains the Old Testament, and it is supposed to contain a book called the Apocrypha, and then right after that is supposed to be the New Testament. Okay? Now, at certain councils, um, they took out the Apocrypha, and they only put the New Testament and the Old Testament. Okay, so I'm going to show you that right quick. So if you go from the Old Testament all the way to the book of uh, Matthew, mm -hmm. all right, so if you go here, Zechariah. So these are things that people need to know, okay, about this book. Um, you have any more questions while I get this? No. Sounds okay. good. So if you go to the last book of what's called Malachi, right, the last prophet, also the word Torah, a lot of people get the word Torah mixed up. The word Torah means no more than the first five books of Moses. Matthew, Mark, I mean, um, Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, and Deuteronomy. Good. So see this, you have the Old Testament here, the last book of Malachi. You have a blank page here, and you have Matthew. This blank page here represents 500, close to 500 years that is missing, that, that this blank page. Certain King James Bibles have the Old Testament, the Apocrypha, and the New Testament in it. You can buy that, okay? That's what it's about. Then if you get older ones, you will have something called the Josephus, which would be in the front right here. Then what is called the Old Testament. Then the Apocrypha. And then the New Testament. King James Bibles and so forth like that. Mm -hmm. Okay? Now, what is the, the... A lot of people ask me, well, the Torah, they speak about the Torah. The Torah is no more than the first five books of Moses. So the first book is Genesis. Genesis contains the beginning of creation, the fall of man, uh, why things were created, why, what happened, right? Then you got Exodus. Exodus is the leaving um, of Israel. And in Exodus also, we got the Ten Commandments, where the Lord wrote the Ten Commandments with his fingers uh, and gave them tablets of stone. That's what Exodus is about. Exodus to exit. Genesis to create. Okay. Then the next book after that is the book of Leviticus. Leviticus deals with the laws. Even though the laws started in, in Exodus 20, right, the, the tribe of Levi was given the laws. Uh, they, they were the ones that were created to be the priest tribe, um, the high priesthood, the rules and regulations, the sacrificial lamb, so forth, like that. Then the next book, uh, which is the book of Numbers. The book of Numbers is no more than the numbering of the tribes, okay? Uh, the fathers, the genealogy of the tribes, and so forth, like that, okay? Now, then the last book here of what is called the Torah is the book of Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy is two, the second time or duo. The second time 
that Moses reiterated the law to the nation of Israel. Okay, there were 12, 13 tribes of the nation of Israel. So that's the first five books. Moses could no longer, at when you get to Deuteronomy right here, you go into a book called Joshua. Joshua was Moses' second-hand man. It was his lieutenant. So the Lord took the power away from Moses. Moses could not cross into the promised land. So right here, you read that the Lord took the power away from Moses and gave it to his man Joshua. Joshua now was the one that brought the children of Israel down into the promised land. Okay? So now from here on, this is Joshua. All this back is Moses. Here on is Joshua. And that's what this book is about. Now, as you begin to understand, how much minutes is on there? Five, six. Okay. So as you begin to understand now, this book now is the records of the nation of Israel and their interaction with the people all, all around and the Lord. Okay, that's basically what the book is about. Um, the promises that the Lord gave to them and how they did wrong, uh, the covenants that was made with them, the marriage that was made with them, how they broke the marriage, um, how the Lord remarried them through Christ. That's the purpose of Christ and so forth like that. So, you know, and then it goes a little deeper. It deals with demons. Uh, it deals with death. It, it deals with many different things in this book. It deals with, it deals with uh, incest. It deals with sexual rules and regulations, food, things that you can eat, things you're not supposed to eat, um, sin, what is sin, uh, you know, so it's, it's, it's a very vast, very, very vast book. It deals with uh, laws, it, it deals with architecture, it, it deals with warfare, um, it deals with uh, science, it deals with math, it deals with music, um, it deals with astronomy. It deals with many different sciences uh, in the book. It deals with many mysteries. Um, it also prophesies the past, what happened in the past, what is happening right now in the present, and what is going to happen in the future. Okay, so it deals with time. Um, it also gives you the images of the beings that we call God or Christ and stuff like that. And it shows you what is right and what is wrong based on philosophy that people believe in. It also teaches you that there's no such things as religions in the Bible, nor did the Lord or Christ create any religion or any philosophy. What time are we on? Um, eight minutes. Okay, we'll stop at ten. Uh, so there is no philosophy in this book. What do I mean philosophy? So if you go about this being called God, God never created Jehovah Witness. God never created Baptist, Methodist, Episcopal, uh, Lutheran, Calvinist. No philosophy did the Lord create, okay? The being called Christ, his son, did he, he never created any philosophy. Man, one minute. One more minute, yeah. Man created those things, okay? Um, it also deals with a concept called Antichrist. You know, this is a thing that Roman Catholicism created, but it's in the Bible. So there are many different forces in here, and you need to sit down and study to show yourself approved that you are rightly speaking about the book. Peace.